Hello and welcome to episode 23. You can see the game clip recorded down there in the bottom, probably. And uh, might as well just go straight to the first Apocrypha. Now the question is, do they teleport you around the same space? It looks like they do. I was afraid that might be the case. They're not taking me to new places, they're just teleporting me around the exact same one as a puzzle. Alright. Unfortunately, they're all regular books, but I did get a Black Soul Gym and four Septims. Okay, now this place... not going to get beat up by the darkness. Okay, that... <laughs> looks particularly heinous. I don't think I want to activate that pedestal yet. Ooh! That's some nasty stuff. I think I found the right place. What is that? Ah, pedestal stands empty. What would I like to place? So it looks like I might have to go through Apocrypha and find more if there are more pedestals. Which it wouldn't surprise me if there were. There is an Apocrypha there. I bet you this one is bone. And this one with all the blood around it, it's probably fleeting flesh. Unless this is fleeting flesh. You know what, I bet you this is one about blood. Let's put fleeting flesh on this one. Glass boots, nice. That might have been the right thing to do. <laughs> and there is someone driving past, so my dog just went into massive defend the house mode. That dragger moved. I'm half tempted to try dead thralling one of these desecrated corpses, but uh, like this one, which may or may not have armor, but I don't think it does. I think it's just an appearance. Because that would make a pretty interesting looking dead thrall. So I bet you there's a book of spirit and a book of blood somewhere in here. And once I have them all active, then it will probably unlock the way up there. Now I notice that this didn't do anything when I put the bones on it. Something this way. Some right here. Is my weapon mad at me? No, it's up above. Gotcha. 
Okay, so back through these. That one will probably just take me out to the entrance. I came through one in the dark. Wait a minute, is this? This is all familiar. I think I'm still in that uh, massive maze. Font of Magicka. This is probably where I get a book. Anybody? Oh, multiple seekers. They are really hard to see. At least their uh, their remains are hard to see. Ancient tales of the Dwimmer, me. Repel undead. Oh, which one is that? Is that the high level one? Seventy nine. Okay, that takes me up above. That's probably where I need to go. I might as well head that way. I get the feeling with the last teleport, I left my uh, my weapon behind again. Uh huh. Uh, I don't want to open that Apocrypha. Not yet. If I have to. If there is no... Oh, there's a thingy right there. Okay, the rear guard. Light armor increased to 11. You know what? I think I have a level up. <laughs> Archery increased to 33. What is that? Uh, it's just a discoloration. So. Her der. Der. Her de der. Uh, and I was one away from getting that one, which I wanted. But this won't do me too much good if I can't get them because of their level. So I'm going to want this one first, then I'll want that one. Now, that should be everything, and then use the Apocrypha to get up above, because, yep, this takes me back into this room. Fresh candlelight. Now where does it take me? Oh, looks like it took me up to the above section. You do not get away from me. Consuming power. I have intentionally not bought that for a reason. That's because it kills your minion when you use it on them. And so, while it would be okay for a temporary minute, if I accidentally use it on my dead thrall, they would be really powerful for a few seconds, and then they would just die. Yes, black soul gems. So far, this place has been pretty uh, profitable, as far as soul gems, scrolls, and ruined books go. Uh, I do have something 
not only that allows me to convert ruined books into rolls of paper for con um, for creating stuff, but I also have something that I saw allowed me to turn ruined books into, I think, books. Like, it needed a ruined book and it needed something else. I don't know exactly what. Time to do this here song and dance again. You're gonna show up behind me every time again. No. You're showing up there specifically. There we go. And I will inevitably grab some useless stuff like that, but... Okay, no, no. Apocalypse, Bloodseeker. Good spells coming out of this. But, I think I'm gonna need to start putting in some of these. Uh, okay, that's a regular book. That's a regular book. Black Book Whispers of the Veil. Bone. Whoops. What was Bone Volume 1? Give that back. Why isn't it available? Did it double tap? I think it double tapped. Of that. Uh, I think this is Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, that's a vanilla book. Children of the Sky, Dark Darkness, Don't Worry Inquiries. I already got those spell tomes, so that's three pounds I can put away. Uh, reproduction, Memory Stone, Bankrupt. Pass. I uh, wonder if this will really work. Bridges of War can block out the bane. Way of the sword, the way of the sword, the way of the sword. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't know if I need that in here. I don't think I'm going to take it. Or I don't think I'm going to deposit it. I know the Herbane's bestiary is. Azura, Luminal Bridges, those definitely are. Um, Nerevart Red Mountain is. Nords. Where's Pala Pergint Peter? Uh, da, 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 da. Research log, no. Rising threats, songs, souls. I have a ton of these now. Frost by long tried raid, zombie, steadfast ward. Uh, eat there. Oh, right, that's a quest item. Madness of Blaeus. That is a quest item. Pig children. Rear guard reclamations. J J J. Lyrissus. Okay. Yellow book of riddles. By various. Okay. Uh, Watch Psalms, First Council. That is a regular book. Okay. That takes care of most of that. Uh, da, da, da. All these ruined books are weighing me down a lot. How much you want to bet? It unequipped my bound sword. That one's still on. Another copy of Changed Ones. Binding Blood. I 
I have no idea what that was. I can either run all the way back, which I think I will, just in case I miss some. So I've got blood, I've got bone, I've got flesh. I still need spirit or soul or whatever that is. Ebony Gauntlets of Ferocity. <laughs> Spell to him Conjure Seeker. That's it. You bastards worship me now. Okie dokie. For example, if I hadn't run back, I would have missed that spell tome of Conjure Seeker. Now this is the one full of papers. I had a feeling that that Apocrypha would take me somewhere because of how disorienting all these papers can be. I was like, you know what, I bet you that's going to take you somewhere. This one's really dark. Without a light spell, you'd have a really hard time finding it. So... Oh, that just took back to the front. I think that's actually the one that I teleported to the first time. And if I go this way, I haven't been here yet. Sweet! Where do you take me? into the middle of the books. I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Empty. There's the bones. Okay, so that's the one that took me here. I bet you something's going to come out of that pool. Oh, hey, stairs up there. Now, after doing the bone book... Whoa. <laughs> uh, after doing the bone book, it actually did something. Stay out of the fluid. And here's where we're going to put another one. Skeleton Guardian. Cabin in the Woods. Scaled Armor of Immortality. Nah. Bunch of heavy stuff. This is not a pedestal that I can activate, which means probably once I get the fourth one, it will have something that automatically appears on it. Or once I defeat the enemy, the enemy may have the thing that I put on it. So, not there. What about down in here? Was that an Apocrypha? That is multiple Apocrypha. Where does this one take me? I'm guessing there is no map of this area. Yep. Now what about this one? I think I came in the far one first. I've obviously been here. There's the dark one. I know where that one goes. Okay. And this is where I just was. So, just in case, what is this one? I think that's the one I'm looking for. Uh, 
No. No. Cool. Damn thing, anyway. Okay, so this is what? You fall down and you... Ah. No. I uh, definitely don't want to go down there. Door. I wonder if you come out here. Five songs, poison song. This is a very musical shelf. Here we have a giant thing that ah. That will allow you to run off of here down to there. And then through here. Nice. Causing damage equal to 15% my current health. Restores health equal to 50% of that damage to the caster after th Ooh, that is a nice spell. Except that I have a weak amount of health. Oh, don't step in the thingy. Oi. Don't try to beat me up. I wonder, would it still come out with candlelight, or does it only... Yep, it still comes out. <laughs> I thought maybe it came out because I didn't have candlelight. Or mage light, or whatever light. Turn. Oh, that is a nice stack of ruined books. Search for the treasure of Hackneer Deathbrand. Okay. Apparently I read about a treasure in one of these books. So... Ah, down this way. Looks like through here, then back and over, perhaps? That looks potentially damaging. Think there might be a lurker in there? there is. It's less of a worry now. Alright, neither of those is making that move. Another Tome of Conjure Seeker. No more scries in here, though. Oh, 
That's what I'm seeing. My blessed weapon. The shackled soul. Now, it's kind of sad. Y you you gonna pop out and attack me now? Huh? Nope. Don't feel like it. Ah, now this is up. And is this another teleport book? There's probably going to be a nasty boss. That's the other one that I came down from. So, yeah, a uh, lovely place to put me, dude. Whoop. TK, dodge you, jerk. At least I was able to recover and pull up. Now, this is the entry hall, so... Take that, Apocrypha. And... I think just keep following the left-hand wall. Spirit's on this side. I don't even know why I'm going the long way. All right, shackled spirit. Let's give us a nice quick save here. It occurs to me that I never saved before this video, so... Uh... Oh yeah. Now, the last one did a lot of damage to me, so... Let's throw this on while we're waiting for the green one to activate. Get out of the slime. I like this mob. It looks pretty cool. Ow. If I weren't such a good mage, that probably would have hurt a lot. Netch leather? That's weird. And there's an Apocrypha now. Okay, okay. Now I saw the uh, the thing right next to that room, so I'm gonna hit that, which I think is gonna open this door. This one, maybe that'll open this door. And that opens the one across from me. That seems a little bit redundant, but whatevs. Okie dokie. What awaits in the darkness? <laughs> that awaited in the darkness. And so does all this pain.
Night Eye would not help here. Definitely want Mage Light or Candlelight, preferably the one that I'm using. Seeker. Last King of the Aliens. Another stretching hallway? That hallway seems to have morphed as I ran into it. This black book has added a lot of playtime to this mod. I mean, oh my god. God damn double tapping keyboard. Woohoo! the first try. Fancy that. Power attacks cost less. Yay? Let's see. That puts me at 243. That puts me at 185. Yeah, it's mostly those books. these books. Uh, since I have my weapons put away, I am... I... Oh, that's why. There we go. Don't have the study buff? Don't have the study buff. Okay, in that case... Forgotten magic. Learned. I'm getting way too many of these. Uh, detect dead. That could be handy because I don't think it's specifically undead. So if you're having trouble finding a corpse, I think it will allow you to see it through walls. And then level 79. I am half that. So I'm going to learn that one because <laughs> that could really help out with some stuff. Alright, unequip that. First off, uh, dude, that was the wrong hand. I was doing primary attack. That should be this hand. Alright, nothing there. What are you doing? Like when that happens, is it reorganizing the rest of the world around me? It almost seems like it did, because I don't remember running up that much curve.
And they called that other place Labyrinthian. My goodness. If ever there was a collapsing hallway, this looks like it would be it. But no, this is where I came from, because they are dead. Might as well refresh this. If only I could uh, bring along some chalk and just put little arrows on the walls and hope that none of the seekers come along behind me and erase them. Okay, so that kind of funneled me in this direction between the two of them. Which means this, I think, is new. Or not. Or it is. Ugh. That looks like a, a door. No, nope, that's this place where I left my chest. So if I go here... Nothing. And this appears to be full length again? Or is this the one that... Aha. Uh -huh. I think this is new. Book. Black Book, Whispers of the Veil. Vale. Uh huh. Unbind Soul added. Okay. Um, that's great. Ah, two Tamriel. Phew. Black Book done. As long as I don't immediately launch into uh, conversation or combat, I will end this video here and then continue the search. <laughs> so yeah, um, as long as it's not required, you may want to not open this black book before completing whatever else you had to do in here. I am going to prepare that just in case. Now, we were on episode 22 last time, and because I didn't exit the game or anything between then and now, we are now on episode 23. Also, a one page journal entry, um, continuing with a little bit of like between episode stuff this happens and then this happens and this happens and so on um, there are a couple of two page maybe one three page that I wrote between this one and the end but there are a lot of notes such as chasing down uh, the current quest line that I'm in where I do like going from this person to that person and what happened there as opposed to the episode where I took out two of them in one episode. So it's just little blurbs between. And as always, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below or don't. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.